Hello there pancake swap lovers, holders and haters. Over the last six months, plenty of people have been making fun of me and you guys for believing in pancake swap. And that is understandable since almost 70% of market participants are new and 90% of people in the cryptocurrency space do not even understand it. In the last two years, I have learned that fundamentals are more important than price action. Sadly, cryptocurrency investors fail to see the true value proposition of of an asset. PancakeSwap is one of the top 100 cryptocurrencies for a reason. They are the decentralized gateway of the massive corporation that is Binance. As it stands today, Binance still has the highest amount of users and volume as a centralized exchange. And now that PancakeSwap and Binance have officially become partners, I could easily see K pulling a 10x. But there's another massive event that you guys cannot afford to overlook, and that is all coin season, a magical time for cryptocurrencies. If you have only been invested for a couple of months, you should watch the entire video because that will increase your likelihood of playing all coin season the right way. And of course, I am invested in PancakeSwap myself. It has not been an easy journey. I know for a fact that most of you would have already caught your losses. In fact, many of you did, but I have diamond hands because I believe in the foundation and the value proposition of a project like PancakeSwap. And that is the issue. If you don't believe in the asset that you bought, you're going to sell. So I initially put in about $31,500 that reached a high of almost $44,000. And now we're back to $12,000. So I'm basically in a $20,000 loss, which is 62%. Also, I have been able to decrease my average price because PancakeSwap has a yield. So what I do is I don't cash it out instantly. Instead, I keep those tokens and then just rebalance my average price. And that's how I was able to bring my average price from over $20 to now below $17. But crypto dynamics, inflation is killing cake. And sure, inflation is not gonna help each individual token to reach a higher price. But the thing is, it's not about the price per token, but how many tokens you have. The reason why PancakeSwap is down so much is not because of inflation, but because of the market capitalization going down due to people selling because the whole market was going down. You have to look at inflation like a company splitting shares, where they either do a stock split or a reverse split. So that's how I am looking at it. I am not losing money to inflation. I am increasing my holdings in equity. But of course, price go down, ape don't like. Okay, now we're gonna talk about PancakeSwap's price action and then we'll talk about all queen season. So make sure to stay until the end. And guys, we have multiple signals that say PancakeSwap may be about to increase in price dramatically. The first one is going to be breaking this falling wedge on the daily. Now this falling wedge has lasted forever from a price of basically $30 down to a price of $5. On the daily, we are finally breaking above it. In addition, one of my favorite indicators, the RSI is once again breaking above the almighty resistance line. We can also see there's a lot of volume on the daily. What this means is that the market agrees with this breakout. Then we take a look on the weekly and we see that the MACD could potentially cross very soon. If we pull a Fibonacci extension, we can see that the 61.8 ratio is $30. So if we get some sort of all coin season, I could see PancakeSwap going back to the $30 mark, but that of course would not be breaking all time highs. Then if we actually do break the all time high at $44, I would expect PancakeSwap to target the 161 extension level, which is pretty much $70. This is the Bitcoin dominance. This is the chart that you should be looking at if you're holding any altcoins at all. This is how you're gonna be able to see altcoin season begin. So if you're holding any altcoins, you should be looking at this every single day, especially in a time like this. When we go down here, this means that money is flowing out of Bitcoin, which is the biggest coin 
into many different altcoins and that's why these altcoins go up this is a ratio of liquidity and i am really excited because on the weekly we may have a mini altcoin season why do you guys think that altcoins have suffered so much lately well we have had the bitcoin dominance go up for a couple of months but now on the weekly we are getting a potential blow off top and if that is the case we're about to retest the support level at 40 percent and that will cause altcoins to rally for at least a few weeks but the real opportunity and the altcoin season that we have all been waiting for is for when we actually break below the 35 percent support level if you guys can see 40 percent is just a point of support but 35 percent is the last point of support and of course if we go below that level i would expect the bitcoin dominance to reach a new all-time low and i know this may be confusing and boring but believe me once you lose enough money or once you miss enough opportunities you will start paying attention you can either do that now or wait till later now if you guys have any questions regarding altcoins cryptocurrencies pancake swap the bitcoin dominance whatever it is make sure to get into our telegram community which is in the description below this video absolutely for free you can ask any questions 24 7 there's about 58 people in there and you can also ask me any questions as well if you guys enjoyed the video like always make sure to leave a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next video